The Russian invasion of Ukraine uh, has uh, created uh, a number of uncertainties for Moldova and has uh, um, meant uh, cons economic and social consequences. First of all, we are dealing with a large refugee inflow. Uh, the Moldovan border has been crossed by over 390 uh, thousand refugees uh, from Ukraine and about a hundred thousand decided to stay which amounts about uh, to about four percent of the population of Moldova uh, so uh, this is uh, uh, putting a strain not only on uh, the country's resources but on uh, the systems uh, and uh, the social cohesion so uh, we uh, have seen unprecedented solidarity and unity of the people and we hope that uh, uh, this uh, uh, continues uh, but uh, we hope that uh, these people uh, can see peace and return to their country as soon as possible uh, but we are also seeing uh, social and economic uh, consequences so for example the Odessa port was the most important logistic hub for Moldova for both imports and exports uh, we also had about 15% of our trade with uh, Ukraine, Russia and Belarus, which has now been disrupted. And uh, uh, at the same time, we see the consequences of uh, uh, the war in accelerating uh, inflation, uh, in uh, risks for energy security. And of course, we uh, have to remain very vigilant about uh, the separatist region of Transnistria and the, the Russian troops there. So uh, the consequences of the war uh, on Moldova are complex uh, and uh, uh, we uh, hope that a peaceful solution can be found as soon as possible so that uh, the uh, people fleeing the war can return to their homes and that uh, peace and stability is brought to the region so that uh, these countries can really uh, work on uh, reforms and transformation and the betterment of the uh, um, lives of uh, uh, people. The Moldovan uh, society has uh, reacted uh, with uh, uh, a lot of solidarity to the plight of the people fleeing the war. So from the very first days we saw thousands of volunteers providing services, opening their homes uh, for refugee families. Uh, we have also taken very swift decisions to integrate uh, people into uh, our society and provide access to medical services, to education services for the children, to um, uh, to the workplace, so there is a facilitated way in which uh, people can find jobs. But of course, you know, we are talking about vulnerable population. We are talking about single mothers with children and their elderly parents. So um, they uh, definitely need assistance. So we need uh, accelerated uh, uh, action on cash programs uh, to support the refugees. Uh, cash programs to support uh, uh, volunteer families uh, who are hosting the refugees and helping the state increase its capacity and uh, of course uh, you know we need uh, uh, financial assistance uh, to help uh, uh, the Moldovan society deal with the consequences of the war. It is in the very mandate uh, of the uh, Natolin uh, uh, campus of the College of Europe uh, to draw the attention uh, to the uh, specific um, circumstances of Central and Eastern Europe. Uh, so uh, I see the role of the Natolin uh, campus as central uh, to uh, helping a new generation uh, of uh, uh, students understand uh, the history, the communist legacy, uh, the difficult relationships uh, uh, in the region and to uh, make sure that uh, better decisions are taken, uh, taken into account uh, the, the background and the history.